Have you ever seen Venus at midnight? Wouldn't that be beautiful? Ah, gotcha. That's a trick question. Nobody's ever seen Venus at midnight. Chris McCarthy here at SF State. And in ancient times, people had the idea, as you know, that the Earth was at the center of our solar system. And that the sun went around the Earth, and that other planets, like Venus, went around the Earth too. But, in order to explain the motion of the planets, they also supposed that Venus not only went around the Earth, but went on a small circle, an epicycle, on top of the larger circle. Furthermore, to explain the fact that Venus could never be seen at midnight, they supposed that this epicycle of Venus was along some sort of dotted line that connected Earth to the Sun. And therefore, in this model, Venus should always be between the Earth and the Sun, always, in the geocentric model. Now, as you know, in the 1600s, a new model was proposed. It wasn't even entirely new then, but the heliocentric model proposes that Helios, the Sun, is at the center, and that Venus and Earth and the other planets go around the Sun, which is correct. Well, in the heliocentric model, Venus would be between the Earth and the Sun sometimes, but the difference is that at other times, Venus could orbit around to the other side of the solar system. and be on the opposite side of the sun. How can we tell the difference? Well, the key is when you observe something that's between you and the sun, it always appears as a crescent. Remember that the moon is a crescent when it's between the earth and the sun. So in the geocentric model, Venus should always be a crescent. When Galileo observed Venus with his telescope, he sometimes found this crescent shape, like you can see right about here. That crescent shape was consistent with both the heliocentric and the geocentric model, because both predict that the moon should sometimes be between the Earth and the Sun. But Galileo later observed Venus to have a gibbous phase almost a full moon, if you will, more than half lit up. That means that it's on the other side of the sun. But in the geocentric model, Venus would never get to the other side of the sun. It couldn't break free. So that observation alone proved that geocentric model wrong. Now that model had been held by experts, powerful people, for hundreds of years, over a thousand years, in fact. But it was dead wrong. Can you think of other examples where people have held ideas for centuries that we now know make no sense at all and are dead wrong? It happens. It's part of human uh, existence, I guess. Uh, But If you can make observations of observed reality, you can throw away these old ideas that that make no sense and don't explain what we actually see.